When it comes to AI tools in 2024, we are already off to an amazing start. And part of the reason why is some of the cool, interesting, and really unique AI tools and platforms that I've discovered not even a full month into the new year. Often on this channel, when I talk about platforms or AI startups or AI tools that are powered by GPT-3 and GPT-4, I talk about the fact that really a lot of them don't really build upon it, don't really take that amazing groundbreaking technology and bring it to the next level and how I want something to sink my teeth into that not only uses those but actually elevates them to the next level. Fortunately for me, I've already found it. And today I'm going to be showing you the platform Pop AI, something that came out of absolutely nowhere but does exactly what I've been waiting so long for. It takes those fundamental technologies of GPT-3 and GPT-4 and really gives it to you in an interface with new tools and skill sets that you can learn that just take your efficiency, time management, and overall productivity to the next level. This thing has been an absolute game changer for me, and by the end of this video, I'm sure you're gonna agree that this thing is gonna be an absolute game changer for you. So let's get into it, talking about everything there is to know about Pop AI, my new AI productivity assistant, and really the thing I've been waiting for for a long, long time. This is Pop AI your personal AI workspace. Now, looks can be deceiving here because at first glance, I'm sure many of you were thinking the same thing. What's the difference between this and ChatGPT? <laughs> That's what this entire video is gonna be about. This thing is basically ChatGPT on steroids. But for those of you calling my bluff, instead of saving the best for last, let's start with the best. The coolest feature of this application is the ability to actually chat with your documents. The way the Pop AI has enabled me to actually converse with my documents, whether they be a PDF, Word file, etc., has greatly accelerated my rate of learning new information and new topics. And this thing would have been a game changer for me if I was still in university. So if you're still in university right now, Listen up, because this doesn't only extend to software engineers, it really extends to anyone. But I'm gonna give you an example with me. So hopping to Pop AI right here, we're actually uploading a document that is a real piece of learning material when I was learning how to become a full stack developer, creating applications from scratch. This is a PDF from the JS Mastery course on udemy.com called the Ultimate Mern Stack Guide. Mern standing for MongoDB, Express, React, and Node, which is a full stack web development framework, pretty much, allowing you to create full stack applications from scratch. And literally just uploading the PDF alone, I've already got a complete comprehensive report on the entire 41 page PDF, summarized in an easy to read several set of paragraphs right there for me. And I can then follow up on that information similar to how I would at ChatGPT, but with so much more intuitive dialogue that would actually help me in my learning process. And right out the gate here, it's actually prompted me with a couple questions for me to ask. Things like, what are the four technologies that comprise the Mern stack? What are the key features and use cases of MongoDB in the Mern stack? Things that if I was a new student learning, that I'd wanna know. So let's ask it, what are the key features and use cases of MongoDB in the Mern stack? And just by clicking that outright, I can see all the information and answers are right there available to me. It's like having a tutor on my shoulder as I'm reading the PDF and learning the new information. But it goes beyond that. I can actually translate specific pieces of the PDF to whatever language I want to. And as it seems here, if I highlight this English section, Pop AI actually has a lot of different languages that you can actually go and select. So you can translate specific pieces of information that you want to learn from your PDFs and really from all of your documents directly there in your browser. And it gets really, really cool beyond that. If I'm not going to hover in that case and I simply hit copy, I can copy that to my system clipboard, extracting specific pieces of information about MongoDB from this PDF and then the ability to actually go and paste that. But if I go and paste that in here, I don't actually have to just chat with it like a regular normal AI chatbot. No, no, no. We actually have custom prompts that we can tell it to take this information and do with. So if I hover over standard here, we can see I can choose file type being standard, paper or resume. But if I go over the summary section, I can see a couple different prompts. Summarize in one sentence to capture the main idea, summarize into five bullet points, make the summary longer, human-like, but concise and comprehensive. And just like that, I can have the entire document summarized into five bullet points. Let's say I had 10 of these different PDFs that I needed to work through, but I was on a time crunch. The ability to actually generate those concise notes for me to actually use as a study guide would be so instrumental to my success because it's saving me the time it would take to actually have to go through and read everything. And if I do wanna learn more pieces of information about this or interpret specific images, I have that too. There's a couple pieces of code here and you may have noticed on the left-hand side of the screen, it says images. I can actually go and find these images. Example, this is a simple example of an Express.js server. And I say, yeah, 
I wanna, I wanna get some insights from that. I hit the insights button. It puts it automatically into the AI chatbot and it's gonna extract the insights from that. Now I take that little piece of code that was just simply an image in that page. And now I know exactly what each line of code does there. That is so absolutely crazy. And the ability to summarize and understand information has been opened up to a new world, no pun intended, because of how cool this tool is. And the interface it offers is so simple and easy to use that it's made things much quicker. I'm someone who really values time and the ability to concisely understand all of these things across the PDF is what makes it just so captivating and really what made me want to hop on the Pop AI train because while ChatGPT offers similar features, it doesn't take those and really provide them in an interface that is meant for everyone. But Pop AI absolutely does. But the best part about Pop AI is the fact that it is really, really good at chewing up, eating, and spitting out large pieces of information and making it much easier to digest. And of course, if you're a student or someone actively learning, this means that this applies to you. We have now uploaded the entirety of computing, machinery, and intelligence into Pop AI's chat with document. And in just a couple seconds, we already have a complete summary of the entirety of this 22 page PDF with a lot of text on it with the ability for us to now go and converse with it and actually digest that information much, much easier. So as we can see, it's already got a complete summary of it right there. And it's already got some things like the questions we may ask. And now scrolling through all of this, if there was a specific section that I actually wanted to go and highlight here, I could actually just highlight this particular paragraph. An interesting variant on the idea of a digital computer is a digital computer with a random element. What does that mean? I don't know. If I go here and I hit the copy button and then I just go and I, I paste it in here, we can see that that information has been easily extracted for me and now it's gonna be summarized and honestly given an answer from this. The document discusses the concept of digital computers with a random element and explains it to me in a way that I can actually understand. This allows scholars, academics, and students to easily process large pieces of information in a way that is comfortable and meaningful to them. Now this next feature I would have found so much use out of if I was still back in my digital marketing class in university. But if you're a university student now, consider yourself lucky because this next feature is gonna be a game changer for you if you've ever had to create a PowerPoint presentation. Down in the AI presentation section, we can either create a new presentation from a single topic or get started with ready-made templates. Well, let's start with the single topic. And sticking with it here, we wanna create a new presentation in English at the bottom. And we're gonna simply put the same thing we did earlier. MongoDB, Express, React, and Node. And just from those simple things, those four different technologies, we're gonna see what it actually outputs for us. And again, I wanna reiterate here, the only thing that I'm entering is create new presentation, MongoDB, Express, React, Node.js. I'm not offering it any other information or topics or images, nothing. I'm just gonna hit send and immediately it's gonna start searching the web and starting to pull information, starting to pull images. And as you can see, it's going and it's already creating an absolutely insane outline for this PowerPoint presentation. You can see on the left-hand side of the screen there, it's still going. And oh my goodness, outline is ready. Okay, so let's see what this outline says. Scanning the internet just from typing in those four things, we have building full stack applications with MongoDB, Express, React, Node.js. It's broken it down into sections understanding the MERN stack backend framework. This isn't from that PDF document I did earlier. This is only from typing in those four things. Just like that, we have a complete outline of our actual PowerPoint, but it gets better. It gets better because if I scroll down to the bottom here, this is where it's just so nice. If I scroll down to the bottom here, we have sources. We have sources for these documents for where it actually pulled the information from. You can check the feasibility of these links and modify the sources. So it still has that customization. Personally, in my case, this is more than I would wanna do for a presentation like this. Um, so I can always regenerate the outline if I wanted to, but in my case, I'm simply gonna hit create presentation and just let it go. And we can see that it's creating slides based on the current outline. And then on the left-hand side of the screen, it says, we're generating your presentation based on your outline materials. This should be ready in about a minute. So we'll cut back to when this thing is finished. Okay, and it's been about 30 seconds and we have a complete PowerPoint presentation already done for us based on that outline. So we can see here building full stack applications with MongoDB, Express, React, and Node.js, a Pop AI creation. Scrolling through, you've got the content, section one, understanding the MERN stack. It's all laid out and easy to understand. Oh, and we, haven't even, we even have a guy uh, on his laptop there. Uh, scrolling through Express, we've got different pictures on the side to illustrate the actual point and decorative UI with React. Go 
going through. It just goes through everything. We have a, how many slides did it actually produce here? 23 slide PowerPoint in 30 seconds with no information, no research, no anything done. I've already got a 23 slide PowerPoint presentation with an outline document that we can use to back up the information used in the actual PowerPoint presentation, as well as a sources document that I can just use for my sources. But let's say I actually wanna change it, I don't like it. We've got a little theme button in the top right hand corner here and I'm thinking let's go, let's go a little bit more simplistic. I'll, I'll go with this one. Oh, that looks much better, much nicer. In fact, we can do so much more than just taking that PDF and converting it into slides. With the actual AI creation tab, we can see things here like slides, flowchart, image, academic, career, blog and article. There's so much we can do. There's different slide templates that are available to us. There's different flow charts. We can simply type in a paragraph and get a knowledge mind map. We can create images with Dolly 3. We have mid journey prompts and we can actually make a mid journey wallpaper. Those different types of technologies are things that you can't strictly find in the GPT web store. And speaking of the GPT web store, if we actually hop over to the GPT web store here and we search up slide composer, we can actually find the already created and implemented in the GPT web store slide composer from pop AI. So if we just hit slide composer, type that in there and there we can see right at the top, Pop AI Pro, master for creating and refining PowerPoint presentation design by Pop AI. So if you wanna actually give this a try for yourself before getting Pop AI, you can see just how cool it actually is. You might've noticed throughout this video that I've had a couple buttons on the right hand side there, but surprisingly, those buttons actually followed me when I left the Pop AI webpage. And that's because Pop AI also has a Chrome extension that has a lot of the features of Pop AI built right into your web browser. Now I'm over on the Wikipedia page for React here. But if I actually go to that button right under the Pop AI logo in the bottom right side of my screen, I can actually use what actually is in Pop AI anywhere. If I click on this and I select, uh, let's say this particular line of code, I wanna know what that does. We can see insights, summary, translate, extract data, find anomalies. Find anomalies, well, what does that mean? Well, if I click on that here and I say continue this chat, it'll bring me back to Pop AI and we can continue the chat over there. So it says anomaly, the greeting component is commented as a pure component, which generally means it should be a pure component. However, in React, pure component specifically refers to react.pure component. It's finding things that are wrong. Not only does it take the information and actually tell you what it is in a concise matter, but it can actually look for things that aren't quite right. The ability to find anomalies on any web page using the actual Chrome extension means that you can take any piece of text or image or chart, extract data out of it, or if you're looking for something that's wrong, actually vet if the information is true. Now, just as a little bit of a fun test here, I've actually gone to the Bill Gates Wikipedia page and just in my browser, not actually changing it on the site, have made a slight tweak to a little piece of information here. And let's see if Pop AI can actually correctly identify where the anomaly is. So I'll go to the bottom right corner of my screen here and just select Chart Insights, and I'm just gonna select the entirety of the first and second paragraph along with Bill Gates face and just say find anomalies. Let's see if Pop AI can correctly identify the wrong piece of information here. It's the first thing. It's the first thing it says. It has immediately picked up the fact that Bill Gates is actually not born in the year 845 AD. Um, and it's just immediately picked that out and said, yep, that's the anomaly. That's it right there in my web browser. Pop AI is also multi-platform, which means that in addition to having a Chrome web extension, it actually also has its own mobile app, which can be found on the Apple App Store with the same great features you found on here. I'm back in the AI creation section here, and if I go to flowchart, I can do mind mapping for any type of ideation or knowledge mind map from paragraph. Uh, let's, do, let's do one of those, knowledge mind map from paragraph. Um, Let's enter a paragraph. I want to see a knowledge mind map for uh, starting your own business. Let's say that and check it out in about a minute or so here. We got a custom mind map for how to start your own business. It's got everything in there. Things like tax compliance, business structure, legal aspects, register business, obviously all the legalities requiring setting up your business. We've got the science section there, your branding, advertising, obviously more of the marketing section. One of the things that I love the most about Pop AI though is the collection of templates. There's so many things that you can actually do with this from the slides we talked about, flowchart, images, academic, things like you know research proposals, the best email corrector, and even career. We have the ability to create a cover letter for a job title, tailor your resume CV to match a job. Think about all the times you've seen somebody on YouTube say, well, you gotta create a custom resume for the job that you're applying for. 
But if you're applying for 100 jobs, that's obviously not realistic. You could actually take your resume and custom tailor it to the job that you're applying for in seconds with a tool like Pop AI's template. Well, we've got that as well as job interview. What's that? Well, let's take a look at that real quick. Job interview. Uh, I'm going to say software engineer. Don't actually know what this is going to pop out, but let's see. I want a job for software engineer. Okay, let's start with the interview. Tell me about your experience with software development and programming languages. Wow, it's already doing an actual mock interview from just hitting that template. We're ready to go. Each section is meant to cater to a very specific type of audience, but every single audience can find some value in all of these templates. Going from the blog and article section to SEO, we can see keyword generator, generate YouTube SEO title and description, the best meta description from text. In the marketing tab, we've got things like marketing data analysis, TikTok marketing tools, summarizing and translating, we can best and shortest summary, super tech translator, all in one translation, and finally, my favorite, the coding tab. Now for all the templates we've talked about so far, I've loved all of them, but this final section has a special place in my heart as a developer because of the one template right there in the corner saying code like senior, all languages. It claims to take any piece of code and completely rewrite it as if it was written by a senior software engineer. If this was written by a senior software engineer, we wouldn't be able to tell the difference between that and the piece of code that has actually been put in. So for this test, I'm gonna do something rather unique. I'm gonna go back to a coding project from a couple years ago. I think I was 18 at the time and my coding knowledge was nowhere near where it is now and see just exactly how good it is at completely rewriting code to be, as it claims, a senior software engineer level. All right, here we go. I've got my code copied here and we've got the template code like senior selected and I'm gonna paste my code in here and we're gonna hit send and we're gonna see what it does. Now this was a assignment that I had to do for my early web development class and wow, it's gonna tell me why it needs to be optimized and it's gonna perfectly rewrite it to how I want it to actually be set up. And it's even added the actual comments onto the, onto the code. So it's telling me a couple things here, like the piece of code needs to be optimized because the constructor is not privately setting it properly, the setter method is incorrectly named, and the getter method is not correctly returning the properties and is not following best practices. I was 18, what do you expect? So using best practices, it's gone ahead like it said there, it has coded like a senior and it has rewritten my code. And not only has it rewritten my code, it's actually told me what parts of the code were wrong. The really cool part here is just how versatile these templates are. If we have another one here like Ultra Coder, create any app from one idea, I just said create an app about counting food. And wow, it's created a actual project structure for creating food, that's cool. But if I wanna enrich that a bit further, let's, let's auto enrich the full text. Let's actually get the structure overview. Wow, it's gonna completely lay out for me the front end directory, what pieces of information are gonna be needed for the front end directory, um, what the hierarchy is, it's creating a graph for me, what the actual hierarchy is. Pop AI also has Dolly 3 built in by default, so if I wanted to type something out like generate an image of a happy developer who just launched their first mobile app into Dolly 3, I can do that. Well, when it comes to developers publishing their first app, you don't get much happier than that. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Pop AI for sponsoring this video. I highly encourage you to go check out in the description below the link to Pop AI because they have a free plan. If you just want to get your boots wet and try it out and see if it works for you, I highly encourage you to do so. I've had so much fun extracting the data and learning so many more things at a greatly enhanced rate because of this when it comes to just things like my career, my own education or my own personal projects. It has been a game changer in the field of AI and for the first time ever, I think we can say I found a product that not only takes those technologies of GPT-3, GPT-4, Dolly-3, et cetera, and just takes them and runs with them, but actually builds upon them and makes them better. Thank you everyone so much for watching. My name is Josh, and as always, I will see you in the next one.